calling this meeting of the Miami Township Board of Trustees to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Posey? Here. Mr. Culp? Here. Mr. Morris is out of town this week. We're pledging on without him. Uh, <clears throat> Chief Stiegelmeyer, you have the uh, reading of casualties. Yes, sir, I do. Good evening, board. The following is the first responder casualty list for the period of July the 7th through July 22nd of 2021. Detective Greg Ferency, Terre Haute Police Department, Indiana, end of watch July 7th, 2021. Police Officer William Earl Collins, Jr. Doyle Line Police Department, Louisiana. End of watch July 9th, 2021. And Sergeant Joshua Bartlett, Lubbock County Sheriff's Office, Texas. End of watch July 15th, 2021. Please join us in a moment of silence. Thank you. The next item is uh, recognitions of guests and presentations. We actually do have one today. I am excited to read a proclamation from the Miami Township Board of Trustees regarding the National Night Out Program. Whereas the National Association of Town Watch is sponsoring a unique nationwide crime and drug prevention program on Tuesday, August 3, 2021, entitled National Night Out. And whereas the 38th annual National Night Out provides a unique opportunity for Miami Township to join forces with thousands of other communities across the country in promoting cooperative police community crime prevention efforts. And whereas Miami Township plays a vital role in assisting our police department through joint crime, drug, and violence prevention efforts in Miami Township and is supporting the National Night Out 2021 locally and whereas it is essential that all citizens of Miami Township be aware of the importance of its crime prevention programs and the impact that their participation can have on reducing crime, drugs, and violence in Miami Township, and whereas police community partnerships, neighborhood safety awareness, and cooperation are important themes of the National Night Out program, and therefore be it resolved, the Miami Township Board of Trustees hereby proclaims Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021, as National Night Out in Miami Township and calls upon all citizens to join the Miami Township Police Department and the National Association of Town Watch in supporting this activity. Chief Stiegelmeyer is here to accept the proclamation on behalf of the National Night Out. Next on the agenda is the consent agenda. I will move to approve the consent agenda as submitted. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Any discussion? Mr. Posey? Aye. Mr. Culp? Aye. Next on the agenda, we're moving to new business, is resolution 49-2021, a resolution of concurrence with the Miamisburg city manager's appointment to the Miami Crossing Joint Economic Development District. Administrator Hess. Uh, yes, sir. Um, every four or every uh, term for the um, members, whoever we pick and whoever the city picks has to be a concurrent agreement with the other jurisdiction. Emily Christensen, uh, Christman's um, term expires August 13th of 2021, and their city manager has reappointed her to that position and I concur with his appointment. Thank you. Any questions? No. Resolution 50-2021, a resolution to authorize the use of excess funds from an Ohio Department of Transportation State Infrastructure Bank loan for the Cranes Run Road Stream Bank Restoration Project. Again, Administrator Hess. Well, in 2019, um, we applied for a SIB loan for the Vienna Parkway project, and we came under budget on that project we still have some borrowing power on that. Uh, earlier this year, we had some issues with the embankment on Cranes Run. Um, we had received some money from the Ohio uh, Public Works Commission, uh, but our match is approximately 70,000, um, and we are able to borrow or reallocate the money from that to cover our copay or our 
percentage, which then allows us to pay over time instead of it coming out of Dan's budget all in one year. Any questions? I do not. And related, resolution 51-2021, a resolution to authorize the execution of a project management and financing agreement for the Cranes Run Road Stream Rest Bank Restoration Project. Administrator Hess. And that's just an agreement with uh, Montgomery Yale TID and Miami Township for them to manage this project. Thank you. Any questions? No. Chief Stiegelmeyer, re re Resolution 52-2021, a resolution to authorize the Miami Township Administrator to enter into a contract with AT&T FirstNet. Board, this resolution here is just uh, some housekeeping on my behalf. I constantly look at ways to try to uh, save money for the police department while providing the same or, uh, or better service. In this particular instance, um, I was looking at our cellular phone and our mobile data computer air card service that we annually have and uh, AT&T has the first net that's offered to public safety employees only, and they kept getting hold of us regarding wanting to come out to make a bid. We had one of their local area reps come out and tell us the program that first net offers. What that basically is, is its own standalone system, not a shared system with uh, corporate America and, and the general public for natural disasters that's set aside strictly for law enforcement first responders. Uh, what this does guarantee is that we have better service in case of uh, when it, something bad happens or if there is some type of incident where there's a lot of phone usage, uh, it doesn't clog our lines down. And as part of this first net service, um, while our phone service for the, our mo my mobile telephones is about a wash as far as cost-wise, my mobile data computers are going to save me a, a pretty substantial amount of about $5 a month per unit. If you take a look at the total monthly or yearly savings, it's not astronomical, but it's about $2,500 a year, and every little bit helps this day and time. Uh, and I'm here to answer any questions regarding this request. Are, are any of our current devices from the current provider under contract that there might be any expense associated with this switch? We, we are under contract. Um, however, if there's any cost incurred, you want to answer? Well, there's one phone under contract, yes. and that phone will stay on the Verizon plan until January of 22, and that time the chief will move it over to FirstNet. So the rest of them are not just, it's just the one that we just recently added for our public information officer. Thank you. Any questions? No. <clears throat> We're now on to resolution 53-2021, a resolution to commit the township to the Montgomery County 2022 pavement marking program. Mr. Mayberry. Yes, sir. Uh, this resolution sets up participation in the county's bid for it's the uh, pavement marking retracing so all areas in the township that are currently have uh, either a center line or, or edge line markings those will be touched up next year through this Montgomery County program great any questions no yeah. thank you last is uh, but not least resolution 54-2021 a resolution to approve a transfer of funds from the fire deferred benefits fund number 360 to the fire fund, number 210, for the retirement payout of a former Miami Township Fire Department employee. Mr. McCord. Good evening, board. Yes, the fire district recently got a hold of us and we're aware Chief Queen retired after many years of service. And according to the terms of the uh, agreement between the township and the city of Miamisburg to form the district, each entity would retain the responsibility for paying out the unused sick leave at the upon retirement of any of their existing employees and chief queen qualified for that we validated the fire district's calculation to our records of what we have because we're keeping track of all those as well um and this the fire district has requested reimbursement for the payout uh, that they executed upon his retirement and am i correct that we maintained a reserve fund for this these leaves yes and we refresh that um, try to refresh it at least once a year to look at who's uh, who has retired. We know who's retired, but we also look at who has used and refreshed their um, remaining sick, sick leave balance so that as they draw that down over time, it's not just what was outstanding at the time of the merger, but what was what's left of that balance. So we, we monitor that and readjust it. And then we, when, like I said, when they send us a bill, we're, we're tracking it as well. Thank you. Any questions? No. Uh, we're now in the public comment period. There are no members of the public present. We'll move on to consideration uh, votes of resolutions and motions. 
I will move that we uh, adopt resolution 49-2021, a resolution of concurrence with the Miamisburg City Manager's appointment to the Miami Crossing Joint Economic Development District. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Any discussion? Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. I will move that we adopt resolution 50-2021, a resolution to authorize the use of excess funds from an Ohio Department of Transportation straight State Infrastructure Bank loan for the Cranes Run Road Stream Bank Restoration Project. Is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. I'll move that we adopt resolution 51-2021, a resolution to authorize the execution of a project management and financing agreement for the Cranes Run Road Stream Bank Restoration Project. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Any discussion? Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. I will also move that we adopt resolution 52-2021, a resolution to authorize the Miami Township Administrator to enter into contract with AT&T FirstNet. Is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. I will move that we adopt resolution 53-2021, a resolution to commit the township to the Montgomery County 2022 pavement marking program. Is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. Lastly, I will move that we adopt resolution 54-2021, a resolution to approve a transfer of funds from the Fire Deferred Benefits Fund, number 360, to the Fire Fund, number 210, for the retirement payout of a former Miami Township Fire Department employee. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Any discussion? Mr. Posey. Aye. Mr. Culp. Aye. We have no public hearing today. Uh, department head comments. Good evening again, board. Uh, just one thing, or a couple things I'd like to bring to the board's attention. First of all, I left information with you all about our national night, uh, national night out, uh, as the proclamation stated. It's gonna be August the 3rd. This year we have 15 parties scheduled for the neighborhoods in our Austin landing, so a total of 16. So we have a rather large turnout this year, uh, which uh, it pleases me very much. Uh, so that's gonna be a good eventful night for all. So hope to see you all out there. The second thing I'd like to bring to the board's attention is uh, since 2021, we have started our on-site CLIA reaccreditation process. CLIA, as you know, is the gold standard for public safety agencies when trying to align your policies and procedures with the national averages or national standards. Uh, it's an ongoing process, even though it's a four-year certification. We have this is a continually exhausting process that we do every year. But this is a year that we had our virtual on-site. Uh, dive in for our second re, uh, time to be reaccredited. And I'm glad to report to the board that on the 16th of July, which was last Friday, we had that virtual uh, meeting with the board and they voted to go ahead and give us our uh, reaccreditation for the second time. I'm very proud of my accreditation staff, Leo O'Malley, who worked countless hours at making sure that this went off without a hitch. We received no uh, infractions during our on-site audit, which is a credit to this department, credit to all the hard work that everybody put into it. Uh, we were especially um, congratulated about our community engagement, believe it or not. They were very impressed with how much we're engaged with our community, how much we do with the community. And believe it or not, they were very happy with our use of force and our pursuit policies and our reporting procedures. So some of the more key topics that are in the national spotlight right now, it seems that we're right where we need to be as of now. So I just wanted to bring that to the board's attention, let them know that the hard work has paid off. We're reaccredited for another four years and we'll keep going forward. Chief, congratulations on the reaccreditation. Yeah, given the news in the past couple of years, it's, it's hard to prove that a police department is doing the right thing, but accreditation is one of the methods you can show that you are the gold standard for what the policies, procedures, and methods of, of making sure the police department itself is accountable. So appreciation to you and all the staff. Thank you. Any other department heads? Elected officials, comments, Mr. Newell? I have none. Mr. Culp? I have none. Uh, I'd just like to end with uh, something I said a few months ago. For those of you listening uh, or watching this later uh, that are not vaccinated, I would highly encourage you to please reconsider your decision for not getting vaccinated. Uh, the news about the Delta variant and others coming forward, uh, the cases are increasing rapidly again. And, and I, I, for one, would hate to see public health measures be reimposed because of uh, usage of the hospital rates. Public health measures are not about the likelihood of outcome. They're about the ability to effectively use public health 
uh, facilities, including your doctors and your hospitals. And these numbers are again increasing in a way that is a terrible trend. And the only assured method of addressing the issue without public health measures is increasing vaccination rates. Uh, with that, there is no further business before the board. I will adjourn the meeting at 5.15. Thank you.